Good morning, dear students. I, Parul Madam, welcome you all in the online mathematics class. Today we are going to continue lesson number ten, tens and hundreds. Let's start. Today we are going to measure some objects in centimeters and millimeters. Children, daily you use a pencil to draw and to write. When the pencil becomes small, you throw it and use another pencil. Am I right? But children, at any time, have you tried to measure the length of the smallest pencil that you have used? I have done that. The length of the smallest pencil used by me was of two centimeters. Now, children, a pencil is given here. Can you guess? How long is this pencil? I think for me it appears of 3 centimeters. Now take a scale and measure it. So when I measure the length of this pencil with scale, it shows more than 3 centimeters. Am I right? Children, see the scale. Here, 1 centimeter has 10 equal parts. Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Means each part is one tenth of a centimeter. And children, do you know one tenth of a centimeter is called one millimeter? CM is short form of centimeter, MM is short form for millimeter. That means one centimeter consists of 10 millimeters. So this pencil is 3 centimeter and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 millimeters long. Now, children. We will find the length of a small ant and then the length of a big ant. See here. 1, 2, 3. So the length of this small ant is 3 millimeters. This 3 millimeters is also written as 0 0.3 centimeters or we can also say that the length of this small ant is three tenth of a centimeter. Now let us find the length of a big ant. See here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the length of this big ant is 7 millimeters. This 7 millimeters is also written as 0 0.7 centimeters. Or we can say that the length of this big ant is 7 tenth 
of a centimeter. Since we know now that one centimeter is ten millimeter. Now let us find the length of this small pencil in both millimeter and centimeter. Let us count one, two, three, four, five, six. So the length of the small pencil is six millimeter or zero point six centimeter. Or we can also say that the length of this small pencil is six tenth of a centimeter. Now we will measure the length of frogs. Children, have you seen frogs? It mostly appears in the rainy season. Isn't it? I have too seen them in ponds and lakes. There are different types of frogs. How many different types of frogs have you seen? Truly speaking, I have seen many kinds of frogs. Children, are all the frogs of same length? No, not at all. All the frogs are of different length. Children, we all also are of different heights. Some are short, some are long, some are medium. Everyone's height is different. Am I right? In your textbook, two types of frogs are shown. Gold frog and bull frog. Gold frog is the smallest in the world. Its length is only 0.9 centimeters. That is 9 millimeters. Bull frog is the biggest frog. Its length is 30.5 centimeters. Such a vast difference. Smallest frog of 0 0.9 centimeters, whereas biggest frog is of 30.5 centimeters. Children, what does 0 0.9 centimeter mean? Here, 1 centimeter has 10 equal parts. So each part is one tenth of a centimeter. One tenth of a centimeter is called one millimeter. So 0 0.9 centimeters is same as nine millimeter. We can also say that this is nine tenth of a centimeter. Right? Yes. So, 30.5 centimeter is same as 30 centimeter and 5 millimeter. Now, children, please pay attention about how many of the big frogs will fit on the 1 meter scale. As we all know that 1 meter is 100 centimeters. But the length of the big frog is 30.5 centimeters. So, 3 frogs. 30.5 plus 30.5 plus 30.5 covers 91.5 centimeter out of 100 centimeters. That is 91.5 centimeter out of 1 meter. So, three big frogs will sit on the 1 meter scale. If all the small frogs sit in a straight line, 
then how many of the small frogs will cover 1 meter as we know that 1 meter is 100 centimeters but the length of the small frog is 0 0.9 centimeters 100 divided by 0 0.9 is now multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 to remove the decimal point from the denominator this is numerator and this is denominator we get 1000 divided by 9 that is 111 approximately so 111 small frogs will cover 1 meter practice time first one let us find the length of this nail that is killi using the given scale the length of the nail is 2 cm and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 mm or we can also write as 2.9 cm second let us find the length of this lady's finger using the given scale first let us find in centimeter and then we will find the length in millimeter so from year to year 1 cm is completed 2 cm completed 3 cm completed 4 cm 5 6 7 cm till year 8 cm then 1 2 3 mm so the length of this lady's finger bindi is 8 cm and 3 mm we can also write it as 8.3 centimeters third one using the ruler or scale from your compass box complete the given table three candles with flames are shown in this picture first find the length of candle one in centimeter and millimeter after measuring using scale we get the length of this candle as 2 cm 9 mm that is 2.9 cm second find the length of the flame of candle 1 after measuring with scale we get the length of the flame of candle 1 as 1 cm 3 mm that is 1.3 cm after measuring using the scale we get the length of candle 2 as 4 cm 9 mm that is 4.9 cm fourth one after measuring using the scale we get the length of flame of candle 2 as 1 cm 9 mm that is 1.9 cm after measuring using the scale we get the length of candle 3 as 6 cm and 0 mm that is 6 cm Sixth one, after measuring using the scale, we get the length of the flame of the candle 3 as 1 cm 9 mm. 
that is 1.9 centimeters. Guess and color. Here 16 rods are given. Color the rods of length less than 1 centimeter with red color. Rods of length between 1 centimeter and 2 centimeter with blue color. Rods of length between 2 cm and 3 cm with green color. Rods of length between 3 cm and 4 cm with orange color. Students are advised to measure the length of each rod themselves with scale and color them accordingly. I have not colored but just given color codes. Hope to meet you in next online mathematics class. Thank you. Take care.